Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Really excited about today's video. Today we're going to be asking the question, can you use tandem or piggyback breakers on three-phase systems? I had one of the code coaches call me recently and ask me this very question. So first, let's look and see what a, t a piggyback or tandem breaker actually is. Come here, cameraman. We're going to take a look at this right here. Up here, this is what we call a tandem breaker a piggyback breaker or whatever you want to call it and if you look right here there is a line in between these two breakers this is one breaker and this is one breaker and what it allows you to do is free up space in the panel they're one of the most beautiful things ever invented and really they're just two slimline breakers smushed together to take up one space now they must be listed for the panel that you're in and the panel that you're in must be listed for tandem breakers not all panels will accept these tandem piggyback breakers one thing you won't achieve here is you won't achieve multi-poles right here. And I think that may have been the guy's question when he called. He's thinking, hey, can I get multiple poles off this one space? And I don't know if that was his intent or not, but I just let him know everything I'm letting you know in this video today. But you're only going to get one phase. This is clipping into the bus bar and will give you one phase. So if you were to take a reading across these two, you would actually get zero because there is no difference in potential. So you'll not achieve a multi-pole setup with these. But they are beautiful for running two independent circuits. They're beautiful for you know condensing down a panel because you're going to take two spots and ultimately you can make it one spot, which which may free up just the spot you need for your electrical panel. Just a quick recap today. You are able to use tandem breakers on three phase systems. Has nothing to do with whether it's you know single phase or three phase. But what you have to watch out for is make sure that your electrical panel is listed for tandem breakers and that you use the proper brand. And if you're trying to achieve a multi-pole setup, you're just going to have to use the traditional way of doing two or three spaces depending on if you need that single phase or that three phase setup. I am the Electrical Code Coach and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you and you will in turn add value to others. Let's get to it. 